Hi everyone, I'm Gremlin and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we looked at the patch notes from the newest update in Sons of the Forest and I wanted to actually explore the game a little bit and show you some of the things that they included. The first thing I wanted to show you here is their new double story cannibal hut. And so this is what it looks like. And these bases are a little bit more established than some of the other ones. And so most of the other ones you'll see just have my, like a couple of tents and are a little bit smaller. This one has this little structure. So it kind of adds to the immersion of things and uh, it's pretty cool. You can climb up into it. And uh, here's the POV. If you were to get uh, killed or captured by the enemies, this is what it would look like. So it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it so far. I think it was a good addition. Next up, I wanted to show you the turtle shell rain collector. And so if you didn't play the original forest game much of the water in the original forest game was polluted and so collecting rainwater was very important i'm curious to see if they're going to add more polluted water to this game i'm happy to have the option of drinking you know along the streams and stuff along the way uh, but yeah that is the main source of getting water in the other game this rain catcher so i think this is a really cool addition because it will also allow you to build in a little bit more like remote locations and so you just simply have to collect the turtle shell, get some sticks, and you will have it all set up just like this. Looks pretty cool. I like it. It's a little bit different. It has like a, I guess a little bit more of a fleshy look, I guess, than the original one. Next up, I wanted to show you the admin panel for admin clients. I'm not 100% certain that this is what it is, but I think it has to do with multiplayer and being able to kick other people from the lobbies. The last thing I wanted to show you is a new cave system. This is one of the biggest things in the update. It's a huge cave system. And the way to find it is if you look at on, you know, in the mountains where the, the hang glider is, if you go down just a bit from there, you'll see the lake cave entrance. And uh, you'll know you're in the right place if you see the cultists outside of the of the lake cave. So like I mentioned before, there's going to be new cultists that are dead throughout the map. You might find additional pieces of the story. They'll be in like white robes and things like that. So uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you following along. Be sure to check the patch notes. I'll put the full notes in the description or my previous video going over them. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.